lot of films nowadays are films that you can watch with your eyes closed. Everything is being told to you. Rabbit is a film that is about the experience of seeing and hearing. We want it to be an immersive experience, as if you're sitting in the theater, but you feel as if you're floating in space. Explore, do you, do you copy? There's no other format as immersive as IMAX. When we were designing the film, we were clear that we didn't want to do a futuristic film. We wanted to make a film that takes place today. We know the space shuttle is out of circulation, but we wanted to incorporate it because to this point of space exploration in audiences' consciousness, the space shuttle is part of what they know. We wanted to be as accurate as possible with those references. We needed to explore the design of the Hubble telescope, the shuttle, the ISS, International Space Station. I think our biggest reference was uh, the Hubble documentary. That for me is my personal favorite in IMAX. IMAX was our Bible. Resolution in the detail was invaluable. We would explore the way in which astronauts move in space and the amazing craziness that is action-reaction when you are in zero gravity with no resistance. When I was about three months into my space station mission, my brother met Sandra Bullock's brother-in-law, and they arranged that she and I would talk because she was about to go to space. We talked about how there's outside wearing the 300-pound spacesuit and always holding on to something, and then there's inside the space station where it just takes the, the touch of a finger, or even I could take one of my long hairs and push it against a surface and I could move myself down the entire length of the space station. That's how little force it takes to move up there. If somebody did their homework because everything is exactly like it was on our mission. It's a very linear, very contained story. It's, it's in one hand, it's very intimate, but with the backdrop of space. This sensorial experience is as important as the journey of the character. When you see that in a huge screen, you get to see every single detail. Terrific. It's just so beautiful to see them working with the Earth in the background. You can see the planet in its entirety. You can see the curvature like we would see it. When the action begins to happen, we start following our character in a very close one-person narrative. The camera takes the approach of following the POV of the astronaut that is just rolling or spinning in space. Together with that is the sound mix that is very dynamic. Everything is, is moving around. That is as if you're in the center of an orchestra. The IMAX format, I think, captured the emotion of what it's like to be there in a time of crisis. But we had a better day on Hubble 3D than they did in gravity. When you go to the movies, when you walk in that door and you sit in that seat, you are asking someone to take you somewhere. And probably somewhere you can't go by yourself. You know, the big format, the beautiful views, brings back a lot of good memories. I believe in magic. And a film like this, in this IMAX format, Houston, please come in. You get to go.